All right, guys. It is another hot, sticky, miserable midsummer day on the last day of March. That would be this miserable Tuesday, or are we at Wednesday? I have already lost track. I have no idea, guys. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? March 31st, 2021. So, uh, I... I just did a rant about my latest uh, love letter from uh, YouTube that I received this morning, but uh, that led me into, was kind of my segue into this rant, um, which may or may not have something to do with the video, the latest video of mine that got yanked down for medical misinformation. <laughs> So I don't, <coughs> damn, I don't know if what I'm getting ready to read violates YouTube's medical misinformation policy or not. Uh, we will have to find out, but I want to thank many Alert Tribes members uh, for sending me this story unbelievably going on just right under my radar, but apparently it was right here and Yahoo News. So uh, I'm just going to look at this story, you know, uh, being a 61 year old <clears throat> who enjoys drinking margaritas. What is the latest public health warning? <clears throat> Margarita drinking death risk rising for older adults in U.S. The southern U.S. is seeing a sudden rise in margarita drinking deaths among middle-aged and older adults. Uh, oh, shut up! You know, I can't get uh, 10 seconds. Uh, where was I? The southern U.S. is seeing a sudden rise in margarita drinking deaths among older and middle-aged adults. Um, so, researchers analyzed data from seven southeastern states, including Florida. I won't read all that. Uh, on 500... 53,500 cases of margarita poisoning diagnosed from September 2020 through March 17, 2021. In all the age groups, the proportion of margarita drinkers who died either held steady or declined between September and January. Starting in February, however, fatality rates, fatality rates for margarita drinkers rose for almost all groups over the age of 20, according to a report posted on Friday. From January to February, these rates tripled, tripled among margarita drinkers aged 60 to 69 from a fatality rate of 0.04% to 0.13%. Okay, so the death rate from drinking margaritas more than tripled uh, earlier this year, according to this analysis, from 0.04% uh, of margarita drinkers aged 60 to 69 dying to 0.13% of margarita drinkers aged 60 to 69 which, of course, is another way of saying that between September 
and uh, in, in January, that 99.96% of margarita drinkers age 60 to 69 did not die. However, uh, in the last few weeks, that rate has more than tripled to the chilling fact that 99.87% of margarita drinkers age 60 to 69 have died. This is quoting the report. Quote, individuals between 60 and 69 years of age uh, in, you know, mar individual margarita drinkers is what they're talking, individual margarita drinkers between 60 and 69 years of age had an over three-fold higher risk of death in February compared to those in January taken together. Taken together, these preliminary findings suggest significant increase in case fatality rates in older and middle-aged adults. Uh, in the southern U.S., and this should raise public health alarms. All right, we have a public health alarm being raised that 99.87% uh, of 60-somethings uh, in the southern U.S., who drink margaritas did not die of drinking margaritas. I mean, I assume they were suggesting, you know, deaths caused by drinking margarita and not by some other underlying condition. Uh, so I have to decide, and I really appreciate all my Concerned Tribes members, you know, I need to decide as a rational, uh, I think somewhat uh, intelligent, college-educated uh, former journalist, uh, whether I need to look at this information that the, the fatality rate from drinking margaritas has more than tripled from 0.04% to 0.13% and decide whether I am going to stop drinking margaritas or not. Will this make a, uh, will this make me stop drinking margaritas? Uh, will this fact, will it shut down, uh, will they make sales of tequila illegal. I guess it, I don't know, are they suggesting the tequila is the reason, the triple sec, or maybe it's this, uh, maybe it's simply limeade. Uh, I think, you know, we, we have a public health warning being blared. I think that we should outlaw the sales just we need we have got to get the public health uh, warning blaring on this. We need to outlaw the sales of margaritas. We have to uh, since there's a little bit of uncertainty, we need to immediately outlaw the sale of tequila outlaw the sale of triple sec or Quantro if you're rich. Uh, we need to outlaw limeade, margarita mix, and of course limes. We just need to outlaw limes. We have a public health crisis. Okay, instead of 99.96% of 
margarita drinkers in their 60s not dying of drinking margaritas. Uh, we now have 99.87% of margarita drinkers in their 60s in the southern U.S. not dying of drinking margaritas. So I don't know, guys. I'm going to start a new campaign. I guess I will never drink another margarita again. Uh, I am going to live in absolute panic of being in the same room with a fucking margarita. Ah, uh, you know, I, I'm going to get out there and, and put a face shield in front of me every time I walk in front of a Mexican restaurant. Uh, matter of fact, I, I, I'm not getting near a Mexican. You know, hey, uh, just, uh, you know, build that wall. Uh, you know, where do you think this, uh, the, this plague is coming from? It's coming from Mexico. Obviously. Build the wall. Don't let those kids in here. Oh, my God. Anyway... I would say get out there and enjoy your margaritas while you still can, but uh, obviously, guys, we are in a public health emergency, and you need to pour uh, every drop of tequila and lime juice you have in your house uh, down the toilet because 99.87% of 60-somethings in the southern U.S., have not died of drinking margaritas. Anyway, I think my dirty rice is finished. But the little dog says, I want some dirty rice. I know you got some dirty rice and some chicken up on that stove. Bye, guys.